mysterious serial poisonings of schoolgirls haunts Iran. Hundreds of schoolgirls in Iran have been hospitalized since November 2022 after seemingly being poisoned. The victims, mostly girls, experienced symptoms of nausea, headaches, difficulty breathing, coughing, and heart palpitations. Some reports suggest that radical Shia fundamentalists are responsible for the chain poisoning of girls' schools, claiming that women should not receive an education. Iran's deputy health minister, uh, Yonis Panahi, uh, Panahi, confirmed that the girls were deliberately poisoned, contradicting earlier statements by the education minister, Yusuf Nouri, who had called the incidents rumors. No one has been arrested for the poisonings, and Ibra President Ibrahim Raisi is blaming foreign enemies. The victim's parents have protested against the government's lack of action. No one has been arrested for the poisoning incidents. Nevertheless, the victim's parents protested against the government's lack of action. So um, this is very important. So starting back in November of last year, there was like one or two incidents where these girls schools were seemingly getting poisoned because all these students were coming over with like mass nausea and getting really sick. And this was in November, like the height of the initial kickoff of the Masa Amini uprising, right? And the girls' schools are a are and were a major source of protest against the regime. And so, you know, I was following everything happening in Iran very closely, and I had some awareness that this was happening early on. And then it seems to like have kicked up greatly. So I still need to confirm this, but I saw one report that said that on March 1st, 26 schools alone experienced quote unquote poisoning in one day. So there are some reports that somewhere between 300 to like 900 students have experienced these very strange, mysterious symptoms. People report smelling um, something that's it's like pungent, like rotten fruit, but even worse. Um, some people report smelling things like sulfur, other gas and reporting being unable to breathe. Now, I have seen some things on social media that um, like maybe one or two children has died. However, I have not been able to confirm that. And most of the reports that I have read in English media have not corroborated that. Um, and I have read some reports that say that for most of the girls, they recover within about a day. Um, but I mean, there's so much we can get into about the reaction and the fallout from this. But before we dive into that, Armin, tell me what you know, tell me your reaction. And I think there's probably a lot more information available to you in Persian news media than there is in English. Well, I mean, people are going uh, crazy. This is going viral everywhere. And this has become now the main headline news and is capturing everyone's imagination. And there's so many different theories going on. But again, we uh, the prevailing one, the one that is um, most people are talking about is that this is either the regime itself um, or it's radicals who have sympathizers within the regime. And the reason why they say that this cannot be happening um, either by the regime itself or with the help of sympathizers within the regime, even though if it's not the entirety of the regime, is because nobody's being investigated, nobody's being arrested. And also even the newspaper, even some government officials are suggesting that this is too sophisticated of an attack. Um, some government officials are claiming that this is not even happening. This is just mass hysteria. But then we have gas. We have government officials confirming some other government officials confirming that this is happening. This is actually poison gas. This is a deliberate attack. So there, the government's own narrative is like all over the place. We have all. Yeah. We have from their own government. We have ex, um, theories such as there is no gas attack. This is mass hysteria. We have. There is a gas attack and it's foreigners. 
you know, like Gracie just said, there is a gas attack, and it's the peep, it's the anti-regime people within the country, okay? And there is a gas attack, there's a poisonous gas attack, and it's some radical Islamic groups, and we will find them and arrest them. And there is a gas attack, and it's coming from inside the house, from the regime. It's the regime claiming some people, for, you know, it's like, like, okay, so the regime itself has like a spectrum of claims, an official spectrum of claims that is happening. So they are, and we have like mullahs and religious people and government officials are like, hey, and government sympathizers who are like, guys, this is why people don't trust you. Like actual people, people that you have like, what are you like, at least get your stories even if you want to yeah, lie yeah, yeah. at least come up with one lie why are you coming with consistent come on what is this amateur why, are you, why are you coming up with eight contradictory lies like what the mm -hmm. hell is happening okay but whatever is happening it's insane right i mean i don't know i don't know what what explains this but they're taking uh, school girls and now it's uh, at least one boys um boys school as well but it's mostly school girls that are being taken to hospitals from many different cities in iran you know and in many different schools it's like it's insane it's insane i, I really want to see what the evidence takes us but the um uh, the prevailing narrative right now is that this is revenge. Mm -hmm. This is revenge because the revolution, the, the Mahsa Amini revolution that is happening in Iran was led by schoolgirls. Okay. This was a schoolgirl led revolution, right? So now that the protests are dying down a little bit, I think some people, either the government, what they're saying is the government or government sympathizers or radical people are like, it's payback time. And they're mm -hmm. taking out, they are going after the main symbol of this revolution, which is schoolgirls. So this is right now the most accepted narrative. Okay. We will continue to monitor and update you if other, uh, and see where the evidence takes us. But this is right now what most people are saying is happening, right? yeah but it's insane i don't know it's whatever it's not it's it's not what happens in a normal country okay and the parents are um losing their mind justifiably mm -hmm. and they are scared about what's going to happen to their children like every parent like is now on edge especially if their kids are girls and they are going out there after after the government and they're getting attacked. We have videos that we can show of people attacking the parents of children who were concerned about their kids. We have stories of schoolgirls trying to get out of the school because they say, like, our school was just gas attacked, and the, and they're not keeping them in. They're not letting them out. They're like, what? And also, people are saying it, they don't um, let the test results to come out. Like, so... Uh, you know, the girls go and they get some of them get into the hospital, but they're like uh, trying to censor the information, try to not get the, any of the blood tests or anything to get out. So it's insane. But anyway, there was a lot of claims about this as being uh, nothing burger by a whole bunch of pro government, um, you know, news agencies. But now we have actual government newspapers saying that the, that the gas being used they're now actually talking about because we were like okay what gas is this right some somebody in the live chat also asked that right do you do we know what gas it is and we we're like yeah we, can we tell us what gas it is but apparently at first we were hearing different news like this school it smelled like i don't know rotten eggs and another school it smelled like i don't know rotten fish so people are experts are saying okay rotten eggs means this rotten fish means this like so different gas and now the the paper of the government an official paper by the government says it's this gas is too advanced to be used by just random uh, lone wolf or lone wolf like individuals because the gas is a mixed gas like it's not one gas it's like a mix of multiple kind of gas which is not something and that an individual 
would have access to. So it seems like an advanced attack on schoolgirls. So some people are saying, given that this is so advanced, then it, it must be something to do with the government. And they're saying, like, if this was like a non-hijabi person protesting, the government would have been figured this out like, like this. Like, you see, like, yes. you know, so they're saying the government is very efficient at getting getting people who are just protesting. But now we have gas attacks on schools all over the country. Why is the government not have a single person arrested? So they're like either you for guys months, are just in going on yeah. for months. Yeah, for months. Either you guys are just so incompetent or you are the ones who are doing this. Like which one is it? So that's the uh, that's that's the stories yeah. that are being told. Yeah. Yeah, D is saying there are too many locations. I think it has to be a group versus a lone wolf. There's no way that this can be done in isolation. Yeah, well, we don't know. I mean, I, mean, I, I just want to be very... I just, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're right. You're right. I just want to be very, very careful about this, okay? Because, I, you know, this is just cr so crazy. I just want to tell you what the main prevailing narratives are. Yeah. I just want to be very responsible about how we talk about this, okay? This is the main prevailing narrative. We will continue updating you as more evidence comes out. True. Right? What did you think about the most prominent Sunni cleric in Iran, Sheikh uh, Abdul Hamid, coming out and explicitly blaming the Islamic Republic government itself? Because he had some yeah. strong words. I don't think we should show his whole speech, but I watched it and I was like, damn. Well, I mean, Susie, he has very strong words every Friday. True, every that Friday. is true. <laughs> so I don't know if this is something new. No, but this particularly but, yeah. caught my attention. He has been, he's been keeping it spicy on Fridays. Let's just say it that way. Yeah, he seems to be untouchable. He seems to be so powerful because this is, if this was any other guy, he, he would have been like, by now. We got another super chat by Secular Sakai. Oh, Secular Sakai, $2 super chat. Thank you. And Secular Thank Sakai you. saying the Islamic Republic is absolutely vile. That is that is one thing we can say for certain. Yeah. But I, I mean, think about this. Schoolgirls. Like, what is. Like, like, I think they're not asking. It's not the whole, are we the baddies? I'm like, yeah, we're the baddies and we are proud of it. It's like, it's like schoolgirls, guys. Schoolgirls. They're gassing schoolgirls, apparently. So, yeah, this is not a normal country. This is not what happens in normal gas countries. Don't experience this. comment this. from Gossam Jad is killing me. <laughs> Juicy weekends with Abdul Hamid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I, I will be very interested to see if there's any actual investigation that is done into this because so far the government's response has been completely lacking. Um, and a lot of people, well, Armin, what do you think about people coming out and already explicitly, re, explicitly ban, excuse me, blaming the regime itself? They're saying this law and republic did this. Okay. I would say that whatever the explanation is, the Islamic Republic is always to blame. Okay. But before I say that, I want to appreciate Andrew Young for saying, hey guys, your work is so important. I'm broke, but here's some emotional support. Well, we appreciate the emotional support and we need the emotional support. Okay. It's okay. Like guys, you don't need to support us financially. If you just like and leave comments, that is plenty of support. And also mm -hmm. if it's ad added with some emotional support, it warms our hearts. So it's, it's, it's very good. Like you don't need to give us. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's all the support. I mean, that's not all the support we need, but it helps um, to be honest. Um, <laughs> okay. So, so here's the thing. The narrative, the main narratives are either the government is doing this itself, including coming from Khamenei himself, because this guy has been, yeah, the people are saying that, I mean, the guy has a history of being vengeful, okay? Like he goes after people and symbols that have crossed them. So they're like, it wouldn't be out of character for Khamenei to do something like this because he's yeah. like, so but, oh, either that or, or, or rogue actors from within the government, okay? right 
So, rogue government, rogue actors within the government, which will again make it still part of the government, right? Mm -hmm. um, or, or people who are sympathetic to the government, which still makes it based on an Islamic anti woman, anti woman's education attitude that is been perpetuated from Khomeini from the start of the revolution at, um, to begin with, right? So, any one of these scenarios you go with, it's you know, it's happening because of the Islamic Republic. So I feel completely safe to say that, yeah, go ahead and blame the Islamic Republic because they they are whatever, whichever these are, it's it's there to be blamed. So but, basically you're um, saying it's either intentional or criminal negligence? No, so either no, no, way... no, it's intentional. No, it's intentional. No, okay, wait, wait. No, it's who is doing it? That's the question, right? Is mm. it coming straight from... Khomeini, okay, or rogue elements within the government, or people outside of the government who have sympathizers within the government, okay, or whatever other theory is happening, it's all at the end of the day coming, it's happening. It's happening because it's Iran under the Islamic Republic. That's what we know. That's what we know. Oh, wow, we got another $10 super chat. Thank you, Sakai. Oh, wow. Sakai, you're being so, yeah, gen Sakai you're gave so generous. Super chat. Thank you. Yeah. Saying, I've been sending armor and drones to Ukrainians and Taiwanese. Who can I send that to so that we can start bringing the fascist fanatics down? <laughs> Patience is a virtue, but this is very difficult to watch. True. I have no answer. The problem is, I mean, is that is that a question for Iran? Like, what? who do we do that with in Iran? Presumably. Um, it, yeah, well, I mean, the problem is that Iran is under sanctions, so there is no, um, I don't know of legal ways of making that happen. Right now, what's happening is people are buying. Okay, the best thing we could do for Iran is um, is satellite internet, right? So Starlink. Starlink is what Iran, I think, in my opinion, needs the most. And people, Iranians right now are buying the devices and the membership. Iranians outside of Iran are buying it for their friends and family inside Iran. And they're trying and they're getting it illegally crossed through the border and get into Iran. So we know that there are active satellite internet active. And what I wanted, what I would suggest that Operan does at some point is to get on a campaign in uh, raising funding um and then the process at which we get more iranians um satellite internet that's mm. i think that the most beneficial thing to do by the way for you guys who don't know appearing is something that susanna and the rest of uh, some many other people are, a couple other people are managing regarding how to help iranians be successful with fighting for the rights in iran and we will talk about that more in the future but it's an important project that is going forward and yeah i think that would be an important thing that operan could focus on i could i think it would be the most amount of help but yeah. yeah yeah so yeah we will let you know uh once we have more updates on that but thank you so much for caring secular sakai um yeah Susie, can you check which microphone you have if you have the correct microphone yeah i it's the correct one. Oh, okay okay cool no problem well, people are very um, justifiably very angry right now in the in the in the live chat. Look at this; yeah. people are like they're not having it. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I um, uh, yeah, a lot of my Iranian friends are very, very distressed about the situation going on with the schoolgirls. So I really hope that I don't know. It's so stupid to ask, like, oh, I hope that there's some justice or resolve from this, because I know that there reasonably won't be. So what do you even say? It's so screwed up. Well, a lot of people are asking the Iranian people, like a lot of Iranian people inside Iran are asking other Iranian people inside Iran, that what else do you need to get out, right? So the people who haven't yet participated in the revolution, like they, they, they're coming out, they, they, mm. they took, it took all your freedom. Now the economy is collapsing, right? You know, and now they're coming after your children. So the people, they're telling the people who haven't started participating in the protest, like what else do they need to do? 
what else do you yeah. have to lose? Like your children are not even safe. Like how, I mean, I'm not saying that there are other Iranians who are saying that to the other, you know, they're like, they're saying that as a parent, aren't you now, like now that they're coming, if it's not for yourself, wouldn't you want to come and attack this regime at least for the future of your children, given that you're, they're gassing your children? So that's what they're saying right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, oh, by the way, Secular Shakai is asking a question about Opiren, saying, was the Opiren um, issue where the amount of display uh, cleared on the first every month get fixed? Like that's it, 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 a donor box thing. They have to put their own engineers on it. That's not something I can fix. So if they fix okay. it yet, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Talk to their engineers. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.